My name is Eugene and I'm a general and colorectal surgeon. Um, as part of my work, I deal with a lot of surgical conditions, uh, but my interest uh, is actually in minimally invasive surgery, which uh, includes laparoscopic uh, and robotic surgery. When the term robotic surgery is brought up, many people usually imagine that uh, in the theatre, the surgeon presses a button and when the patient is ready, the, a robot comes in and does the surgery for us. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not the truth. So actually, robotic surgery is a type of minimally invasive surgery, which essentially is a type of surgery that uses keyholes um, to do surgery that was previously done with a big cut. For robotic surgery, um, we use a robot as an interface to do the manipulation and we control the robot. Um, while doing the surgery. So the accurate term should actually be robotic assisted surgery rather than robotic surgery per se. When I first experienced robotic surgery, I was uh, quite amazed by the experience. Um, the reason is because the console of the robot actually immerses me inside um, the surgical experience uh, as opposed to laparoscopy when you're kind of further away and looking at the screen from far away. So it feels like um, I am within almost a smaller version of me within the patient and doing the surgery uh, with uh, very free movement and uh, very uh, adaptable and dexterous uh, movements. So it really makes the surgery so much easier and so much more pleasant and uh, also ergonomically a lot more comfortable than as compared to laparoscopic surgery. So if you look at the laparoscopic surgery instruments, the instruments are actually um, straight and they have very limited movements. They can rotate and they can open and close. But the robotic surgery instruments are actually wristed, so they move like a human wrist. So you can imagine um, how much more free and how much more dexterous it can be, especially in small areas of the, of the abdominal cavity or any other cavity that we do surgery in. If I had to score a procedure, for example, on how well it's done, if you want me to compare robotics and laparoscopy, it's very likely that the robotic uh, platform will give me a better score on the procedure uh, as compared to the laparoscopic one. So if you are a patient that uh, happens to need surgery, uh, maybe it might be a good idea to consider speaking to your surgeon about the consideration of robotic surgery and uh, whether it will be beneficial for you.